Hey guys, Eric here and we are back in Solstice Tavern and that means it's time for another video game video. I'm so happy to be doing this video. Today we're going to be doing some Megacade upgrades. Before I get started, I have to tell you guys about SilkSystemsGaming.com. This is our solid state storage company that we recently started. We've launched some new products recently and I want to tell you about those products. One of the newest products we have over at SilkSystemsGaming.com is this. This is our external NVMe M.2 drive. This operates just as a USB thumb drive would, except for it's got 512 gigabytes of storage and it's USB-C, comes with a USB-C cable and our own custom case here. So this is a nice little portable drive that you can purchase from silksystemsgaming.com. Head on over to the website to check those out. Another new product we have is this right here. This is a 2230 NVMe M.2 SSD. Now, if that doesn't mean much to you, all you have to know is that this is a drive that we've developed at Silk Systems that's specifically designed for gaming. More specifically, it's designed for portable gaming, handheld gaming, laptop gaming, even some gaming tablets. This drive was designed to go in the Valve Steam Deck as well as the upcoming Asus ROG Ally. It's also compatible with anything that's got an M.2 slot. Um, we're very happy to announce this new product and it's available at SilkSystemsGaming.com. If you want to see a video of this specific drive going into a Valve Steam Deck and how to replace and upgrade the storage in your Steam Deck, go ahead and check out this video. I'll put a link somewhere here for a video by Arcade Adam and it features this drive from Silk Systems. All right, guys, now that the housekeeping stuff is out of the way, it's time to talk about the upgrades that we're going to be doing to the Megacade. I'm super excited about this stuff. So what are these? These are light gun holsters, and these particular holsters were created by Arcade Adam, who recently launched an Etsy store, and I will put uh, the link for that store in the description down below so you can check them out. But I want to show you guys some examples of what he's got over there. Basically, at this point, he can make a holster, or he sells a holster, Holster that can fit any light gun you've got but I'll show you I have a couple different iterations here and I'll show you basically what they look like and what the differences are so if you've got a mega kid or any other home arcade that has light guns you probably have two light guns in which case you need two holsters and you're gonna need a right and a left um, so basically this is the left holster here as indicated by the little wire management that he adds to it Which is a very nice touch um, This goes in the back so the holster would sit on the side of the mega cage just like that And then the wire would go through this little wire management part and then the gun would just slip inside here I'll show you what it looks like and why we're actually installing these on the mega cage in just a second He offers them in a variety of colors. My mega cage is white So I opted to get white at first, but then there was an even better idea when he was developing these. So these are the next iteration of holsters that he was working on and I don't know who came up with the idea first. Someone had the idea, hey, not only can you do colors, but can you do them in transparent? And he said, hey, that might be a good idea. Maybe then the color of the gun can show through the actual holster, which is really cool because I've got pink and blue guns, so it'll show through this. But they can be improved upon even more. And as you know, Arcade Adam is the king of RGB. So what would make these better? RGB. That brings us to this, what I like to call the final iteration of these products as of right now. Uh, he could be iterating on this right now as we speak and I wouldn't even know about it. But I do want to say thank you to Arcade Adam for providing these holsters for me. Again, I will put a link to his Etsy store so you can get some of these for yourself down in the description below. But let me show you what cool things he's done with this. So not only is this transparent, so the color of the gun will show through, but we've got RGB inside. He's actually added a custom channel right here at the bottom where these lights can go in. 
And the clear, the clear filament that he's that he's made these out of actually is a really good LED diffuser. So the lights, the lighting on this should look pretty good once they're installed. Of course, I will show you what that's like. We've got these. This is the cable that plugs in right here for the LEDs, and you've got your little remote receiver right there. I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, there's a little remote receiver right there, and each of these uh, LED street strips has its own remote, but. That's not the only upgrade we're doing for the Mega K today. Let me show you what else we're doing. So if you're gonna start adding RGB and whatnot to your Mega K, you're likely gonna need a powered USB hub. Because at some point you're gonna run out of USB ports. Um, this is just a generic USB hub I picked up off of Amazon. Um, it is a powered USB hub, so it's got its own power brick right here that I'm gonna plug in. You're gonna need ports because these are all powered by USB. Um, you're gonna need extra USB ports on your on your arcade at some point. So I don't you don't have to get this powered USB hub, but I recommend getting a powered USB hub at some point just to expand your connectivity on your Megacade or on your other home arcade system. When I show you guys where the holsters are gonna be installed on the Mega K, these will make more sense. Basically, these are little, uh, I don't know what you call them, the little uh, rubber, rubber cord management things that go in holes. Um, I got them in white. As I said, my Mega K is white, as you guys know. And um, so these are gonna be where I'm gonna feed some of these cables through. Um, it's just better than having like an ugly hole, you know, on your Mega K, it just looks a little better. So that's what these are for. All right, let me show you the issue that we're gonna fix by installing these new holsters. All right, guys, so this is what it looks like underneath my Mega K control panel. It is not the prettiest thing in the world. Um, this is how the Mega K light guns kind of come now, stock. They've got these, uh, I mean, they are metal, but they've got these just metal straps that are kind of under here. And uh, the guns kind of slide in there. I mean, it looks okay, but it leaves wires dangling. And um, I've got pedals as well, as you can see here. And the pedals just kind of sit there. The cable's running up here, which doesn't look pretty. There's just a lot of not pretty going on right here. Um, so the holsters are gonna fix that. So let me show you where I'm gonna put the holsters. This is the side of the Mega Cade. You can see Chun Li right here. This is basically where these holsters are gonna go. Um, I'll probably put it like right there and then we're just gonna put like a little hole somewhere back here kind of hidden where we can feed the wire through and it won't really be that noticeable and then the gun is just gonna slide in over here for this player and then on the other side for player two. guys there's the install as you can see I didn't put the holsters in the original place where they were gonna go um, I asked my wife about it she said don't mess up the art so she suggested that I put them on the side there and I think it's actually much better it's much easier to reach when I want to play a game I can just reach the gun like that put it right back in the holster M much more natural the other ones on this side the LEDs that are in the holsters, you can set them to flash, fade, all kinds of different colors. Right now I have them matching the gun colors for player one and player two. Um, with the USB, the powered USB hub that allows me to have the puddle, the pedal wires coming out from underneath the Megacade now, which is much better than it was before. No wires hanging down off the front. Um, I still gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with the old, uh, the old metal holsters down there. 
I gotta take them out. I gotta plug those holes. Probably gotta just repaint that. Those are the upgrades. I'm super happy with them. Again, link in the description below for Arcade Adams Etsy store. Get yourself some of these holsters and upgrade what you have on your home arcade cabinet. One other thing I forgot to mention is the logo on the holsters is, can be changed. I've got Namco original guns, that's why there's a Namco logo. But if you just want it to say Gun for IR, or if you have Sindin guns, you can get the Sindin one, and it'll have the Sindin logo on here. Definitely worth the money. Thank you for joining me for this episode of Problem Solved All Things Megacade. I really appreciate you guys checking out these videos because I love making these videos. Please like and subscribe, leave any questions you have in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. My name's Eric Ostrom, this is Problem Solved, happy gaming.